Hey yo, and welcome to today's guide, Champion Order. I'll give you my list on what champions to buy in what order and why you should do it. Of course you don't have to follow this list, I just thought it might be helpful. You have to know that this list is based on you as a new player who doesn't own any champions yet, who doesn't have the champions pack and you want to learn the game slowly. This will mean that some of the easier champions might be the first ones to buy, but I did mix it up a bit so it will help you still be engaged in the game even after playing some of the other champions a lot. First off, you should only buy champions with gold. Crystals are the premium currency in this game, so you should save those for cool skins and battle passes, while gold is so easy to get, so you should use that on buying champions. You can get gold from simply playing the game, completing daily quests, leveling up champions or your account, daily login bonuses and through the battle pass. You can also get it through the refer friend system they have, but it's bugged as hell right now. First on the list, in each category, we have Inara, Willow, Cirrus, and Shin. These champions are very simple and easy to use, with the exception of Shin. I chose Shin as the first flank since the rest of them are rather awful at the moment, and you don't want to keep dying while trying out your first champion. He does have a low skill flow, but can certainly require skill as well. Inara, Willow and Cirrus are all straightforward, each teaching some game mechanics like damage reduction, cold tries and healing. Second row of champions are Fernando, Tara, Ying and Eevee. These champions are the true nature of the roles. Fernando is a tank with a big shield to protect his teammates, Tara is a damage champion that is focused on hunting her targets, Ying is a pretty decent healer with low skill flow and Eevee is a really good example of flanks having high mobility, burst damage and a low health pool with a really high skill ceiling, but she can still do fine in lower levels when you're starting on her. Third row of champions would be Ash, Leon, Grover and Koga. These are some champions that all require some kind of skill to do good, but their abilities are easy to use. They're good to pick up and lots to learn on them, but it's hard to do really bad on them from the beginning. Fourth row of champions are Terminus, Avivian, Grog and Androxis. Each of these champions bring new playstyles from what you have experienced prior. Terminus is a tank that has some real firepower, but only when you get up close and personal. Vivian is a sentry turret, she has to set up in her area and then start dealing damage everywhere she can. If someone gets in her territory, she instantly has the advantage. Krog is a support who really excels at dealing damage. You can use him for some off heals as well, but playing him as damage is really fun, especially when you're fighting people who you can counter. And Druxus is the flank who everyone thinks of when they talk about the flank role. He is never in a really bad spot because most of his firepower comes from your own personal skill. Every match you play as him, you will get better. Fifth row of champions are here. Makoa, Bomb King, Furia and Maldamba. I know I skipped the flank here and that's because I chose champions who are fun to play with huge skill ceilings and never in a bad spot in the meta. Makoa has always been either the top or part of the top of the frontline class. His abilities are great, you need to really get into him to play him optimal and while we're at it, he's fun. Bomb King and Mandamba is also pretty fun. Furia is a bit different. She's a hybrid, a support who packs a punch. While her healing value can be amazing, her damage is almost just a good. The more you heal, the more damage you can deal. The two values really depend on each other. Sixth row of champions to get are Torval, Strix, Pip and Maeve. Now we're getting towards the point where it can be hard to find either a unique playstyle or a fun to play champion. These champions have either one or another. Torval is a frontline who isn't meant to be hard fighting for the point, but more of a support with shields. Strix is a sniper, so stay in the backline and try to deal as much damage at the same time as you give some blows that counts. Pip is a bit like Furia, except he doesn't have to depend on his healing to deal good damage. He has some utility to help him, and his healing is more of an ability used for himself, unless you get the chance to heal others. Maeve is in a bad spot, but her personality is a nice refreshing feeling, and her high mobility is also a fun experience. Just make sure you poke the enemy from distance before engaging in a fight. Now the rest of the champions and very special, as they either have a playstyle you have already tried, some abilities that are similar to what you have played, or they're just easy to play from the get-go. That's what makes them probably a bit too hard to say who to get when and why, so try them in the shooting range and if you like them, buy them! Maybe you already found your main during the list, but that doesn't mean you should stop unlocking champions. Try all of them so you know how to play against them as well. 
Maybe you have a hard time against Ndian with Maeve, but then you know that Maeve is easier to play against when you pick Ndian yourself. And that was basically it for this guide. Make sure to check out my other ones if you want to become a real champion. And until next time, peace.